and I am about to start a project and I thought I would kind of take you through it with me a little bit and yeah you like my shirt I'm wearing it says dude <laughs> the mess you see is actually my supplies that I'm gonna need that box over there is trash I'm just throwing trash in it but um yeah so this vanity has some marks down at the bottom which I'll show you and I think that's the reason they put this thing out by the out by the street in the first place for free just because of that other than that there is nothing wrong with this vanity in fact it's super solid and I'm sure it was expensive but anyway I can fix that and that's what I'm gonna take you guys through today through kind of the steps of doing that and I'm gonna be using this Bondo and it's used for automobiles and trust me when it when it gets put on there it's not coming off so yeah I mean you can like sand it down a little bit and stuff but yeah and you also don't want to use it on something if you're gonna stain it but I'm gonna go ahead and paint I'm at least gonna paint that bottom shelf I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with the rest of it if I have time I might get a little bit creative with it but for now I'm at least gonna paint that bottom shelf brown okay and this is my little basket of a few supplies that I'm gonna need I've got wipes because these come in really handy if you make a mistake and you need a wipe like right now there you go um, I got two of these this one's really rusty I think it usually is in the garage but anyways and these like plastic knives and these wooden sticks I use those to stir things up with oh and this is actually the um, cream hardener that you need for the Bondo or it won't get hard at all so anyways let me get started here we go and just so you know yes I do have my paint pants on <laughs> that's from a different project mixed way too much and it hardens like so fast that this is too hard to use already so oh well so I'm just gonna scrape this off of there and reuse this plate because this is the only paper plate I have and it was in with my painting stuff okay now while I'm waiting on this Bondo to dry um, it's gonna be a little bit before it dries hard enough for me to actually sand at it and get it smoothed up a little bit and put a second coat on I'm gonna go ahead while I'm waiting on that and paint this headboard. I'm also gonna paint this chair right here. It's a real nice chair and it's gonna be the chair that goes with the vanity. Um, what I'm using is this chalk paint and this is mineral is the color and it's just a uh, Waverly chalk paint. I got it at Walmart. I don't remember how much it was but it's it seems like it's really expensive for this tiny little eight ounce container of it but this stuff goes a long way and for a protective coat on top, I'm gonna to go with the dark wax. And this is antique, is the color of this wax. And I'll show you that when I get to that part. As I've never used a dark wax before, so you wanna stir this stuff up really good. Cause I mean, when I first opened it, it looked black inside, but it's not black at all. 
I'm really sorry about the lighting. I know it's bad, but I'm working with what I've got for now. To apply this chalk paint, I just use one of these two inch uh, sponge brushes. Well, I'm using the two inch for this particular project. And as a little tray for all my stuff to sit my stuff on, this is a uh, lid to a Chinese takeout container <laughs> that I just use for sitting my stuff on. <laughs> it actually works really good. This tiny little bottle and this two inch brush, yeah, it's not gonna work, right? You don't need much of this paint at all. So what I do, I have this plate. It's just like a Corel plate and it's just an extra, just an old odd plate. And I just pour a little on that plate. Chalk paint is really forgiving too. And I'm literally just slapping it on these. Oh, wait, there's a hair. A cat hair, no doubt. Now it's on the back of my pants. I'm just gonna dab it into the like indentations. I'm literally just like slapping the stuff on there. And I guarantee it's gonna turn out just fine, just the way I want it. It's not supposed to be like perfection, but it's gonna be because it's gonna be perfectly the way I want it. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but I just did three of these right here without reloading my brush. This stuff just goes a long way. Okay, so the first coat is on the headboard and I know it probably looks really hideous right now, but it won't when I get another coat on, I promise. And I probably added about a tablespoon more of paint to this plate to do both sides, including the undersides and, oh, missed a little spot, no big deal. And it's completely gone now, so. Now, while I'm waiting on this to dry, which doesn't take very long, I'm gonna go ahead and do the chair. Okay, so I got the first coat on the headboard over there. The first coat is on the chair. I just finished this, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it dry. And all my paint's used, but I'm gonna wanna use this again in a little bit. So right now, I'm gonna go grab a bite to eat and let this stuff dry. But I have a wet cloth. This is an old cloth that I don't care about. I'm just gonna put it right here, roll this up. Sit it inside a Ziploc. And it'll still be good to use. It won't be all dry and hard and I won't have to use a brand new brush, even though these aren't terribly expensive. Why use a new one when I can just use this one again? All right, guys, almost finished with the second coat on both of these things. Chair's done, except for the wax I have to put on top. And this is almost done. Okay, that's done now. Just gotta wait for it to dry. And I also found these hooks. They were painted gold they're just plain on the back but they were painted gold and i used to use them in my youngest son's room or actually it wasn't brennan's it was chase's room but anyways doesn't matter um there's three of them so i'm sure she can use hooks for jackets and such so i'm going to find a place to put those once the room's all painted and put together and just to give you an idea two coats on this headboard two coats on this chair and also these hooks too the three hooks and this paint is about right here about half gone so it really does go along and I forgot to mention that I did in case you didn't notice I switched over to the short the short handled brush for my second coat the only reason I did that was because that sponge brush that I was using was so flimsy that it was actually making my wrist hurt <laughs> to use it my hand was falling asleep so yeah I think this can go bye-bye right in the trash box but I'm gonna keep this little bag because 
I'm gonna be using my brush again shortly, so wrap it in a wet cloth and pop it down in a Ziploc. It'll keep it fresh for a while. In fact, I've even forgotten about them before and used them the next day and they were still fine. <laughs> just kind of, just to kind of show you what I'm doing with these stars. I'm using this wax in the antique color and it looks really dark brown. And it actually does when you first put it on too, but let me just get a little bit on my, actually I got a lot on my brush, which I didn't mean to do, but just, you know, kind of cover it with it. This isn't gonna be perfect because it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to look perfectly imperfect. Take this cloth. It's actually an old t-shirt that's cut up. And just kind of wipe it off. You're not really wiping it off though. You're just wiping off the excess basically. It's still gonna give it a protective coating and it makes it look kind of like this which I've already done these two and then they're gonna get buffed after I'll even sit for about an hour or two and just kind of buff them with a cloth with a clean cloth and then they'll be finished okay this is the next step I'm gonna do with the headboard and the chair but I'm probably not gonna like show that whole process I'm just gonna show it to you when it's done <laughs> I just wanted to show you these though, so you would see what it is that I'm doing with the finishing touch. Okay guys, this is what the chair looks like finished with the wax on it and everything. This is exactly the look I was hoping for. So I'm super happy with the chair and the headboard. This needs to cure for a couple hours, but that is exactly what I wanted. So I'm super happy. Um, with this chair In case anybody wondered yes, I'm getting rid of the yellow walls. This used to be a Pittsburgh Steelers room <laughs> Just a little added bit the headboards not done yet and to be honest with you. Oh, I can see me. Hi <laughs> to be honest with you, I Really need to get this video edited and uploading so I'm gonna end it here and if you're really interested in seeing the headboard once it's completely finished I will at some point in time show that so yeah and here's one more thing I want to show you the Bondo I have sanded a couple times and done another coat and you know what <laughs> I don't even know if I want to do any more to it just paint it and forget it <laughs> I'm at that point so and my hands are let me see yeah how's that look don't worry it comes right off <laughs> okay guys thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow